another practice programming problem. We are going today to be looking at uh, leak code number 78 and let's go ahead and hop into that. The question is uh, number 78 subsets. It's a medium and it says given a set of distinct integers nums return all possible subsets which is called the power set. Note the solution set must not contain duplicate subsets uh, for example and if nums one, two, three, a solution is uh, this one. And I'm going to construct a different way of, of writing a solution, which I think will help uh, show at least one way of solving this problem. But uh, first, I'm going to just check that the stream is live. And we're good. All right. So if we have one, two, three, we one have an empty array. We have the numbers 1, 2, and 3 by themselves. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 2, 3, and 1, 2. Um, I think it might be interesting to go to the big board. Hi, right, Pulsating Mustache. Thanks for stopping in today. Uh, if we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, I think it could help us understand at least one, one approach. Hi, Lavender JMK. Thanks for stopping in today. Uh, so we want to start off with the empty list, but we want to think of like the concept of a path. So we have one, and I'm not going to write all these brackets out because um, there's two to the n of these, so there's there's, there's quite a bit. But we, we want to add the one, and then we also want to add one two and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. And I'll just give, give a, go ahead and give it away. But we want to backtrack. So if we remember our Sudoku solution, this is somewhat similar. And I, I won't give away the keyword until just a moment. But we have one, two, three, four. So that has one, one, two, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. But not only that, we also want to do one, two, Four. We want to follow that path. And then we also want to have 1, 3, and 1, 3, 4, and then 1, 4. Then we want to start with 2. So we do 2, and then we do 2, 3, and then 2, 3, 4, like this. We don't do 2 back to 1 because 1 and 2, the 1 starting from the 1's already took all of those. And then we don't just finish with 2, 3, 4. We also have just 2 to 4. That's also a subset, isn't it? Then we have 3 and, and 3 and 4. And then we have 4. So the way that we want to think about this is basically us following this path is just depth first search. And if we construct this in Python, really with not a ton of code. Um, so we want to start with the result. Uh, that's empty. I'll go ahead and code. I'll go ahead and write that. Then we want to do a um, depth, invoke a function called depth first search, which will take in the nums. You need to always know uh, what array or list in, in Python that's been passed to you. It's going to look at an index, which we're going to start off as zero. That way we can start with the one, two, three, fours. Then it's going to have a path, um, which is what we're going to be like following through. And then we're going to have, at the start of the depth first uh, search, we're going to uh, append that path to the, to the result. And the magic of the recursive formula is, one, we do a, a for loop uh, from the i, uh, for an i up to the... Um, the length of the numbers, and then we pass in that i, an i plus one. That's with the integer of, of where, we, where we start next. And we also append the path of the nums of i of what we're currently looking at. And so that, that might be a little confusing, um, but it's basically what, is, what allows us to, like we start off this path, one, two, that's, that's the path. And then it continues to three and four, but then we want to come back to the two when that's what we can do with this for loop. And we do two and four, and we append that path to the result. 
So we go back to the 1, and we went to 2 before, now we can go to 3 and 4. So it's a little confusing to understand, but let's, let's put pen to paper here and uh, see how it can kind of uh, um, can, can, uh, can figure it out. So we do self DFS, we take in nums, we want to have an integer, we start with 0. We have a path that also starts as the uh, empty array or empty list, and we also have a result. And then at the end of the day, we return the result. So now all we have to do is write that, that first search. So, hi Coder Eli, thanks for stopping in. So we define our depth first search. It takes in nums. Up there we invoked it with a zero, but this, this uh, argument's called, uh, we can call this uh, index. And then we want to have a path and a result. Like I said, um, we first append in, in uh, JavaScript, this is called push. We, we add to the end of this, this array um, our path. And then we just say for i in range of length of nums, so, so we can hit all the subsets, then we just do a um, recursive call of the death first search. Num stays the same. We want to move to the next thing, so i we don't want to pass i back into as an index. We want to pass an i plus 1. And for path, all we have is path plus nums of i. So this is adding that next element onto, that, um, onto the path. And then the res stays the same. So, yeah, let's give this a spin. For some reason, this doesn't look quite right to me, but I think this is actually right. So, let's go ahead and submit the solution. <sighs> Maximum recurs recursion depth exceeded. Okay, good. I wish I could say that I did this on purpose, but I didn't. So I'm going to puzzle about this. I do have the solution in the other other page. But I'm going to think about this for a few minutes before I can see if I can uh, why we're failing. So maximum recursion depth exceeded means that we're doing too many recursive calls. Ah, I think I, I found it. Why we don't do the for loop from I from zero to the length of nums every time, we start from the index. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're gonna have too much. Uh, it, yeah, otherwise, it's a, we're not we're not following this what we wrote up here before. So let's go ahead and try that again. And I think I might, if this one also fails, I might have to refer to the solution. Pending. Good, accepted. So that's basically we never got to. If we don't have that index, we don't like start from the two and then start from the three and then start from the four. So th that that's that's not 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 quite correct. Um, this is still might be a little confusing. Um, I think that first search and recursion can be a little confusing. So here we do a res dot append path. I've got a custom test case here in this leak code, one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and then just print the res and then see what that looks like. We'll go ahead and run that code. Okay, so we, we did an input of one, two, three, four. And then like we talked about on the big board, we start, we add uh, the empty list, then we add one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So that makes sense. That, that's, I think, fairly intuitive. The big jump is the backtracking. Like once, once you understand why we go from adding one, two, three, four to one, two, four, then I think everything clicks. Uh, but like we said before, we follow this path down. And then we just kind of, in the for loop, we're like, oh, one, two, well, we already did the three, so now I do one, two, four. 
And then when you're done with the one, two, four, then you do one, three, and then one, three, four, and then one, four. And then two is the exact same thing, but it's like a subset. So you do two, two, three, and two, three, four, and then it goes back. There's the backtracking, and it does two, four. So let's just go ahead and review the code. We start with the res. That's an empty array. We, we do a DFS, which uh, recursively calls itself, using the nums. Zero as a, a starting index, an empty array as a path, and the result, and then we return that result. We uh, append the path at every point. Uh, we don't have to print this in our solution. But for i in the range, uh, from starting from the index of what, what we put in uh, to the length of the numbers, we do a recursive uh, depth first search call of those numbers, i plus 1, so advancing uh, that, that i. We add the where we currently are in the array to the path, and then we just keep a, an idea of what the res is before. So with all that said, this was programmer Mitch doing uh, leak code 78 subsets to medium. I might return to this, uh, this problem in the, in the future or one like it because it's interesting there's different ways to solve it. There's an iterative solution. And there's also a way that you can use uh, bit masking, uh, which I'm not super comfortable with at the moment, but could be an interesting way uh, and an interesting thing to learn. But this was uh, 78 subsets. Program Mitch signing out, and I hope to see you next week at 5.30 p.m.